this is a pixeler version of our value landscape project. This is only to be used if you are behind and Citrix is not working for you and you need to get something done to hand in. Otherwise, you're going to use the other tutorial to do this on Photoshop. But go to pixlr.com, click Advanced Pixlr E, Create New, Full HD is the size, Value Landscapes. Pixlr is not going to be an option shortly with our assignments, so please try Photoshop first. Uh, then click Create. Okay, New Layer, Empty. And then you're going to start with your background. So uh, number one, you're going to decide what your um, color scheme is. So if you're doing all purples, all brown, yellows, blues, greens, okay, you decide. So I'm going to do greens. I think I'll do green. So I'll start with white. And then the other one I'll make a nice dark green. Okay. Then I use my gradient and I click and drag, let go. And I'm gonna do it the other way. But you can do it either way. Um, you'll decide what sky looks better in the end, but for now, this will do. New layer, empty. And then I'm going to use the lasso tool. I'm going to draw a land piece. So I'm going to draw and go all the way around until I'm back at the beginning. Okay, then let go. And then using the paint bucket and that darkest value, I'm going to click and make my first land piece. New layer empty. Lasso tool again. Do my next land piece. Go all the way around. This uh, this new land piece will be kind of hidden by my other land chunk here. So, okay, let go. Then I'm going to double click on that, and then I'm going to boost the layer up. I mean the value up a little bit, like so. Because remember, things in the front are darker, things in the back are lighter. I use the paint bucket, fill it in, and then I move that layer underneath the first layer. See that? I'm going to get rid of my history panel, click the minus there so I can see more of my layers. Okay, new layer, empty, uh, lasso tool, next land chunk, go all the way around, all the way, all the way. This feedback thing is getting in my way. Okay. Then I double click on my swatch. I make it a little bit lighter. And paint bucket, fill it in. Go down. Like so. I'm looking for between four and six land chunks. I want you to leave an amount, leave a certain amount of sky. I don't want it like completely all the way to the top, you know? Okay, double click, a little bit lighter. A little bit lighter. All right, that'll, that'll work. Paint bucket fill. Underneath. Okay. Control D or deselect. Hold on. Look at that. Okay. So it remembers, apparently, oh, let me um, fill that in, actually. Um, it seems to remember what these values are, all these colors that you used. If you press down the control button, you see that? It kind of remembers the last few you used. So your value scale will be kind of saved in that way. You're pressing control on the keyboard. It's nowhere, like, visible unless you press the button control. So I am going to just grab my darkest value and just fix that right here. OK. So next step, let's add in, see, you need trees. So let's look up 
pine trees. So I'm trying to figure out how this project can be done in Pixlr. That's as close to the Photoshop version as possible. I'm going to look up like something like this. Copy it. Bring it into Photoshop. Edit paste. Okay. Use my magic wand or my wand select to choose the white. You definitely want to look up a tree with a white background. Control D. And then I'm going to use the eraser. I'm going to zoom in uh, to erase this kind of extra shadow I don't want. Okay. And then I wonder if I do edit fill. Yeah, look at that. So let me go back and show you what that was. So I am just, you know, taking my time erasing. I want this, I want this to be a harsher eraser. Okay. Actually, I'm going to erase the bottom part. Okay. So let's zoom out. Then navigate, zoom it out. So I want to put this tree in the front, number one. So I am going to make it the size I want it to be. Okay. Then I'm going to make this swatch. Remember, if you could press the control button on the keyboard. Oh, it'll remember down here as well. So I'm going to use my darkest value. Click OK. Then I do edit fill. I click apply. OK. Then I'm going to control C, control V. Actually, this, yeah, we're going to do it this way. So we want to duplicate this tree to put some more on this layer. So I'm going to click on the three dots on this layers, uh, on the layers panel here. And then I'm going to duplicate the layer. That way I get another copy. Like so. Okay. Click here, duplicate. Move it over. Okay. Again, this is not going to look as nice in Pixlr as it does in Photoshop. Okay. All right. So I'm going to duplicate it one more time. And then I'm going to do my next value that I used. So I believe it was that one. Edit fill. Apply. And then scale it down, put it on where it would go. You see that? As things go backwards into space, remember, things get smaller. Leave some open spaces for your, like your animal, your tree, your house, whatever it is. Okay? So you'll fill in your trees. Then you're going to choose your animal or like your little like hunting lodge or hunting shed or whatever just something that would be like in the middle of the woods right so i'm going to look up white no i'm going to look up deer with white background you want a deer in profile you want a deer with a white background or whatever um, animal it is you choose paste them in Use the wand select, choose background, backspace, control D, then choose the layer he's going to go on. So he's going to stand on this layer. So I'm going to do edit, fill, apply, and then the arrange tool. And I'm going to scale him down, put him where he goes. So you'll fill in your scene like so. If you want to erase off the bottom parts of the tree here, because that's actually bothering me quite a lot, use the eraser and just kind of clean that up. OK, you see that? Clean that up. And then you want to add in a sun or a moon. 
So click and hold on the shape tool, circle. I would make it white or something really bright. Make them both white, excuse me. So get rid of that one. And this circle, like so. You can add a, a glow to it, filter, outer glow. Boost the size of the glow. You see that? Oh, I had I have two things selected at once by mistake. Please don't do that. Make sure you have your one thing selected. So you can make your moon glow. Apply. Obviously, just selecting the one thing. Um, then when you're done, file, save as a JPEG. Download. It'll save in your downloads folder, and then you'll go to Google Classroom. Go to the class work tab, click on the assignment, view assignment, then add or create and put this in. Okay. That's the value landscapes done in Pixlr.